Hi there, Andrew here and welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. Today we play some more Pathfinder. And guys, we almost forgot the most important fight of this dungeon. The Water Elemental. S seriously, we, we almost forgot him. Um, so we have here a door which we didn't explore yet. Not sure if there are other doors that we didn't explore for sure. But I I was looking for this one. Here there is one. And here there is another. I think that the water elemental might be here. Wrong. This is just um this is just a little I don't know. I hope you appreciate a little loot room. Pretty good. So now we move here. And we are going to do a little change to our um, composition before fighting this guy. Because it's going to be seriously a very, very, very straightforward fight. Um, I'm going to keep Camellia slightly behind. And I'm going to give her also a ranged weapon. I, I'm, I'm aware. I'm fully aware that we will need to use something that provides with a lot of damage but we have nothing so powerful we need to rely on the radiance sword uh, which we could uh, probably power up a little bit and we need to make sure that Sila now is uh, the, at the strongest level as possible but she will now drink a little potion and everything will be fine Stop it. This is the guy. Just I just want to show you this guy. He's a level 8. We are uh, a party of level 2. <laughs> he has 68 hit points and he has a damage reduction of 5. Meaning that every time that we will strike a hit for 7 damage, he will receive only 2. <sighs> and he has no exception. So he's even a cold iron. Doesn't matter. He's immune to poison, stun, critical hits, precision damage and cold. Uh, sleep paraly paralyzation and stun. He is a fucking giant. I will help where I can. Our lady, our lady is gonna get uh, first of all the potion of Bear's endurance, which is going to increase her armor class, I guess. Uh, no, pardon, her um, constitution for another three minutes. Then this is going to increase the armor class of one point. Um, and we might have, if we had something in order to resist to cold damage, that would be massive and wonderful, but we do not have it. What we could take is a scroll of pool strength again, which is boosting our strength to 8, but she has to fight defensively anyway, so... Uh, and that's it. And now we have just to tell her to fight defensively, tell her to charge... Did I mess up again? And we are going to fight without uh, using the turn-based system because in any case, in any case, it's going to be just too long. And here, it's just a matter of, uh, um, of, uh, of, of throw of dice. Look at this thing. Sela is using, uh, she's having an armor class of 25. Um, now the charge uh, set a minus two, otherwise it would be a 27, which is very high, but this thing is a fucking giant, so we might just be very lucky or very unlucky and die, so I might have to restart this fight a couple of times. You see, freezing, that's bad. We have to get now uh, a potion and then attack again. That's wonderful, attack again, and our friend here should use the magic wand to heal Scylla also because at every turn good, very good at, ev at every turn Scylla is getting some cold damage every time she's freezing Camellia should stay behind using the, uh, the, the wand the magic wand and healing her every single time until she's uh, at the maximum and Lan and Arik we try to do their best from the second, from the, from the back. No, it didn't work this time. It didn't work. Look at this. Look at this. We managed to 
to take away uh, only half of the hit points. So we lose again. Unfortunately, uh, I have to do that. I have to do that. Um, there is a little lame tactic that I saw online where you basically uh, try to walk around with uh, a character with the haste uh, um, potion, which we already use, so too little too late, um, and, and try to kill the creature. But no, we try, we try to boost our armor class as much as possible. Wait a second, here I gave already the right, yes, uh, let me try again, here, let me try again. So, we're gonna give this, uh, no, uh, we, I didn't use this potion yet, uh, which is wonderful, because I was sure that I used it in the previous episode, but probably I equipped that, which is different, I didn't use it. Um, potion of pure endurance, absolutely I need it, again, use strength we use it and then we use also the faith use and then we use also haste use now we have two attacks 10 10 we have an armor class of 26 uh, this potion which is wonderful is lasting only 30 seconds and we are just going to attack as much as possible fighting defensively unfortunately but we have to now the damage is much more because we we, we fight Let's say faster. Okay, Scylla is half of her hit points. Uh, also, the monster is half of the hit points. The monster, the water elemental. So, when he tries to attack, let me check it. Is missing Scylla because she's having now an armor class of 28, which is massive, which is really massive. She's really strong. Things are going much better now uh, thanks to the potions, but uh, uh, better but not perfectly. We did it. Did we do it? Camellia killed him with the, with the crossbow. Camellia killed him. Well, 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 well. I'm very happy about this. Now we can go back to this, and yes, we, we, we have just got we just got a lot of experience. That's it, nothing else. I am not one hundred percent sure if I can get now. now oh, there is some secret stash here. Yes, <gasps> that's a ring. Get get it. Go get it. I have no idea what is what this thing is doing. Can I just keep it? What what happened now to my character? Is it is it dead now? I have no clue. I have to check this thing as soon as I'm out of here. But I but he will keep it on, absolutely. And now we go back because we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do, so F5, uh, of course the next um, next fight will be turn base, but when I when you are against one enemy and you just have to keep the tank in the front line and keep with the others, that's, that's the only way to go. That's the only way to go, seriously. And I have to check now quickly on the spellbook, because very honestly I think I'm going to change everything here. For the final fight, I want an entanglement. Um, I want to have um, remove fear, and I want to have I want to have a uh, nature lie. Perfect. I, I think this is going to be great because we are going to cast all those spells as soon as possible uh, when we will have the chance. But first. First, we sleep here. All right, guys. This maze has been long, right? We are. Uh, it, it. It seems that it's taking forever. We have to sleep oh, now three days here. Sword, I I... But I think that this is going to be. Holy moly! I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting a giant spider. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting this at all. Yeah, man, you have to stand up and strike. <laughs> cool. Now let's get back to sleep, right? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy shit. Okay. Okay, I think that everything looks better now. Follow me. Yeah, I follow you. Let's open the door. Let's press F5. We use the Ozilla's key that we picked in this room from the Ozilla's hand um, in the last episode. March off. Now, before we start, I might consider using one of those magic right now. No, yeah, well, this is just to remove fear. Um, it's something that lasts at least 10 minutes too late. So, I, I just skipped the introduction by mistake because I pressed enter instead of the, the, the spacebar. But what we see here is that we have to slay Ozilla. And we use the ancient mythic path to strike this demon with our angelic light. While the demons are eating the flesh of some random poor guy, an Azima. And now, now the fight will begin. Vendward kill. Look at this. Look at the betrayal. Vendog is now fighting with our enemy. That's very bad, but it is as it is. So, for the first battle, it's Vendwag against us. I am going to uh, use Arik right away to boost the party and uh, uh, nerf Ozilla. Silla can strike. And I'm not using the defense in fight, I'm just striking. And she strikes back. Camellia is using right away the remove fear because it's giving us plus four um, save points against fear due to the fact that fear is one of the uh, of the spells that Ozilla is going to use and then Camellia is just getting a little bit closer okay now Lan is doing something completely different is going to target Vindwan because we have to put her out of uh, order and business as soon as possible Arik is also striking her, if, if he manages, um, and Sela, oh come on Sela, and I forgot to give her, um, to give her a push, no wait a second, yeah, those potions are, are just massive, so let's get one, now Zila is striking, miss, yes, uh, now we are going to summon some little animals that will disturb uh, Vindwag. Oh, a might! I love them, these little bastard things. Make every strike count. Come on! We get a potion and we're done. It seems that Vindwag. Sorry, but. Come on, what's the armor class of Vingra? It's just a 17, we are just very, very, very unlucky. Now you start uh, fighting defensively and you got, give this my table here and you strike. Fuck. Also, Zilla is missing, that's not bad. Um, now, our last... Uh, no, not really, not yet. Now we... Oh, can, I, can I charge this lady here now? Eh? Okay, I move Camellia towards Vendu again. I try to attack her. The Might. The Might, of course, is attacking. <laughs> He's attacking the wrong one. Come on. Oh, finally. Vendu is getting, getting hit. And she, stri she tries to, to attack again with the bow. And she gets killed by Camellia. So now, Arik can actually grab one of those super powerful potions that we have and he post is drinking it all plus 14 points and again using some light avengers now Scylla can just try wonderful it's not over it's not over because 
very soon you will see that some other enemies will come into play. And just very sad because this entanglement thing um, has a very, very big area of effect, so not that sure if it's this is what we want. Anyways, now maybe it's too late. You won't survive me. Everybody against Azilia. Azilia. Arik as well. No. Too bad. Into the <sighs> wow, that was a critical hit. 27, we killed her. And now she's summoning some more demons. Oh, mighty Savamalek, you faithful servant, blah, 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 blah. And now we have two little pieces of demons that are bothering victorious. us. So the second round of the battle starts to Quasit. Um, Camellia might consider... Look at this. So if Camellia is throwing the... Here, the magic, we might be able to entangle everybody except for Camellia herself, Sela, Ozilla, and Lan, which is very, very important. And now we attack Ozilla, of course. We are not entangled, very good. Now that's a mess, that's a total mess. We switch to the the weapons. Ozilla is using uh, the Quasit is not entangled. I want to check. It seems that the Quasit uh, is just flying and he doesn't give a crap about the entanglement, but Ozilla does. Nah. Quasit is trying to attack uh, my my Arik. Minus the dexterity, very bad. We get another potion. We try to strike back. Uh, zero, because the Quasit is uh, uh, adding a uh, reduced damage. Jesus! Minus 20, what? We just got a critical hit. Lan, please. Come on. No glory Man, I, I can't believe this. Okay, I'm going to do... S I, 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 I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that, but I wanted to activate acrobatics before doing that. And I just didn't. I just failed. Yes! Yes, Lan. Lan managed to do what I really wanted to do the whole time. To kill Zilla with the, with, with the bow. So now we are against the Quasit only. So the Quasit is uh, he has only 20 hit points. It's not that bad, but he has a damage reduction against everything except good or called iron. So which means that now is Sela having something with called iron? We keep this sword and we attack the Quasit. Missing. Okay. I hope that. Uh, okay. If I go away, I get another attack uh, of opportunity. So I want to take acrobatic. Why? Okay. I just have to turn and fight, right? Whatever. Reduced. All right, again. Um, I can't use anything here with Lan. Just the longbow, but um, I don't have any other weapon that I that he could use with Cold Iron. We don't have a Cold Iron longbow, right? Wait a minute, I have a composite longbow that I didn't use the whole time. I'm stupid, really. You won't survive me. The light. Well done, well done, well done. Let's move her out of here. Ah, the quasit is also healing. I forgot about this little issue. 
Can you now, my dear friend, take acrobatic and get the fuck out of here? Very well done. Now you can deactivate this thing, you can deactivate this thing and stay where you are. Shit. Lan. One and two. Now Scylla, she can actually charge, right? But it's better to strike directly because we, we, we could kill this little thing uh, before he is uh, fully uh, fixed. I just use the light of the angels, I, I think that that's the best solution with my ranger at the moment. Okay, let's try again now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lan made one quasi literally explode. And now Sela and Lan against him. Now Alec can pick again the crossbow and move a little bit right away, uh, far away, and in the next turn he will be able to attack as well. So now this Quasit is completely uh, healed. We need to, of course, uh, hit him better. But Lan can really do wonders and sail as well. So, okay, okay, Arik. Now. No, I use again the light of the angel to to give him uh, some harder time with the effect. Dazzled, he's dazzled. Okay, but he's eating very fast, really. Every turn, two points. I hate it. Yeah, but if we reduce six, it's not bad. Seven, actually. Oh man, one. <laughs> she did a one. She rolled the one. Wonderful. Let's just get go far from here so that the quasi uh, will uh, strike on the Sela. Uh, it takes. Uh, we, we we need to find. Uh, we we just need to give a critical hit to this thing. That's all what we need. Otherwise, it will always. You will always uh, Make every strike heal. Count. Yes, sir. That's that? the critical that I wanted. That's the critical that I wanted. Guys, we won. We won the final oh, fight at the maze. Are you going to finish me off? Ah, oh, then do I. It's not exactly. What else are we supposed to do with you? You're not just a traitor. You're a monster. The young ones believed you and you lured them to a mm -hmm. demon and watched them eat human flesh. I agree with Lan. I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and Lan is seriously strong. Lan is seriously a strong character. I really like him. And I... I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Yes. Hosilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody or live. She became really a big then monster, a so you should have chosen death. Die. You're saying I should have died that day. She's chaotic evil, so that. let me inspect the wound on my chest. Alright. It's gone. It was just that if he had been marked by the abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, hmm. the demons have branded I think I would say judging by the smell of his blood pouring You won't betray anyone chest. again. You're all barking. Oh but but she's escaping. We didn't manage to kill her. We didn't manage to kill her, guys. We might see her again. She's gone. But next time she Yeah. Oh, it seems that someone found us. <laughs> Chief Sal! What, what, 
Watch it. <laughs> okay. Turns out old Holdren isn't as crazy as we all thought. There were there really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a putter down here. Damn it. Eh, Navia. Maybe you should have listened for real, but now we cleaned it up. Orgus lips curls in these days and he tries to keep his distance from the unconscious mongrels. Alright. You said you were in charge of reconnaissance from the Eagle Watch, Anavia. How could you miss a nest of demons, huh? How's the leg? Better than yesterday, worse than the day before. This place must be burned with holy flame. So, the betrayal of Vendrog is of course uh, something big, but now we have to think about the next steps. So, it's... You, you need to look uh, after the young mongrels. It's time to get out of here. Chief, I think I'm going to lead our visitors to the surface and I'm going to keep going. Something interesting is happening out there in the world and that would be fantastic to keep land with us. By the way, those chickens, sons of a... This is all the information of the cultists in the city. Their meeting places, password, their secret hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever whoever's in charge in Canavers right now. As soon as we get back to the surface, we'll find out what's what. Which is wonderful. I I think I will try to treat the affliction. Uh, because now we have dexterity damage. Uh, it didn't work. Okay, right. Fantastic. Let me quickly see if I can steal some loot. Of course I can. Does Breastplates have a, a glaive? A, mag a magic one from Mozilla. Onwards. I believe that... Yeah, I believe that that's it. Let us be off. Can get out of the caves now, right? I press F5 because I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to fight again. Yes. We can go upstairs. I mean, people, say goodbye to this beautiful shield maze because it kept kept us busy for, I don't know, run about five episodes. Yeah, but it, it was worth, wasn't it? Okay, let's just leave. Let's just leave all this stuff behind. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. The surface, finally. Horgus, uh, you wanted to pay me, right? Yeah. Okay, we have some loot. We are not going back to this. Um, let me see what I find here. Ah, some loot. It's always nice. We will have to change, of course, the set of um, the set of uh, spells of an uh, of Camellia, and also give back the right weapon to our lady here. But I think I would keep this one. Oh man. No, we are not done yet. We are not done yet. I think we have to find our way out from here. Or maybe not. Irabeth. Yerabeth is uh, the, the the chief of the guard of the city of Canabras, and I think that she's the girlfriend of Anavia or something. We can skip this goddess, part Nebi, I, everything's fine. because I think that soon we are, we have to move again to I'm move here. on. Let me introduce you to my wife. Ah, she's a wife. She's a wife. Yerabeth. Until the army arrives, I'm right. the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the... 
when the demons attack the so we find ourselves in the great garrison uh, led uh, in an attack led by Irabeth, this paladin of Ayomede, and she's uh, really strong. We, we can't take her in the party, unfortunately. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. Okay. It's our temporary headquarters. Most people in Canalbris think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Come on. Living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons Very us, good. So, our task now will be to try to do whatever it takes, any desperate measure to save Canabras. So, um, the ward stones keep the world wound from expanding. We have to get the ward stone. The, the ward stone is something very important. We will learn inside. about it later. The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time. But how did he do that? It should have. Okay, let's spirit. go to the battle. The city that four years Dude, guarded the border the between the world wound and the rest of Golari is no more. Canabras has been reduced into ashes. We have to do all Lord what August. we can to save the city. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to stop for today and we're going to continue this uh, campaign in the next That's episode. Right. I hope that you had a very good time and that we will see each other in the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.